for some reason I'm when I'm using uh Good morning, how good Alan, how are you doing? Uh ever since I started using say intentions, uh I have a little problem. Normally I, I like to um um do a test, just type in test and uh with the uh with the uh, VR keyboard inside here and uh but whenever I do that I hit enter the uh explain uh AT ATC shows up and uh so I can't I can't actually I can't uh, get I can't do that same test so I'm not so sure why that is but I just know it is so alrighty uh so we are in uh, where are we at here we're in Talum uh, this is an airport that actually in real life doesn't exist, but the replacement airport for it, I can't get it to work correctly. So, uh, so, uh, if I put that one, um, what doesn't work? Like, uh, uh, say intentions doesn't seem to find it when I'm over there. Uh, it, it doesn't seem to find it. So, so we're, uh. We're uh, flying off the old one, so uh, let me get the airplane started here. We'll put some power on, put the beacon on. Uh, I had the plane running, so we'll see if I can uh, just get it to start. Yeah, I guess we did. I had to run a little bit to move over to over where I am, so. Yeah, I am. I, yeah, I'm using, uh, so we're 12.1.2 R2. So that's what I'm on, so. Uh, no performance issues for me, so. Okay, let me, uh, Figure out what I'm doing here. Alrighty, so I think I got the tower dialed in. Tower, Cessna 6 Bravo Golf, radio check. Cessna 256 Bravo Golf, Tulum Naval Air Station Tower, 555. Okay. Tower, Cessna 6 Bravo Golf, the active runway. Okay, that line up. Yeah, the uh, the runways are a little bit off. Let me get a flight plan dialed in. Uh, yep, that be the one. Okay. So runway one three. Yeah. Oh, one three is the direction I'm pointed, so I've got to spin around. Oh, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Uh, it is it, um, it matches how I like to fly, so I, I like it a lot. And uh, uh, I haven't deleted uh, Pilot to ATC, but it's not being used. So uh, uh, there's I find some quirky things about it, uh, but. Um, but a lot of it, I think, is related to uh, the fact that uh, there's not a lot of, uh, from what uh, Brian says, there's not a lot of X-Plane users. They use it. It's, it's a really small number. So, uh, but like I said, there's an airport close to here. It's MMTL, I believe it is. And uh, when when I was, I, I was testing this morning and uh, I tried to, uh, at that airport, it could, it could never, I couldn't find it. I couldn't find a tower frequency it was happy with. So, uh, so I'm not so sure what's going on, but, but I'm doing some pretty crazy stuff. I mean, I'm flying down here in Mexico. So, uh, on some rather obscure airports. And, uh, so it may be related. So, alrighty. Uh, 
Oh, very easy to use. Yeah, it it, it adapts to um, Pilot HTC was too much. Um, man, you had to follow exactly what they wanted, or it, it didn't, or or it would fail. And uh, this here, oh yeah, it's it's quite forgiving. So, okay. Tower Cessna Six Bravo Golf request taxi to active runway. Taxi to runway one three at your discretion. Taxi to runway one three at my discretion. Cessna six Bravo go. Okay. Parking brake released. Need a little bit of power here. See if I can do this in one turn here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Only a little bit of. Inside break there. That went pretty well. Okay, so I got that runway down in the bottom. So uh, let me th let me think about this a minute. Whoop, 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 whoop. Think about that a minute. So when I spin around, it's gonna be at the top. Yep, that'll be right. That'll be right. Okay. Just had to think a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, so when I spin around and make the 180, then it's going to be at the top. That's where it belongs. <laughs> yeah, so I'm also using the uh, flightsim.com. Uh, 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 what is it? CLS uh, dash. A little, a little too quick there, Bill. Uh, CLS dash 60. Uh, force feedback yoke. Uh, this, this thing's fun. <laughs> uh, it will... Uh, uh, you don't, you don't want to have this thing out of trim. <laughs> uh, if, if you're, if you're out of trim, you're, you're in for a workout. <laughs> I forgot what the heck. I, oh, I know. I was in the Microsoft Flight Simulator and, uh, I was using, uh, I wasn't using the trim, uh, trim, uh, controls on the yoke. I was using it in the cockpit and, uh, <laughs> I went down and I tried to just trim it a little bit, and uh, <laughs> all of a sudden it went uh, uh, full. What was it? Full? It all went all the way to the bottom, so that would be full nose up. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that that had my attention. <laughs> uh, Tower Cessna Six Bravo Golf holding short runway one three, ready for departure. for takeoff that's not six bravo go whoops get some lights on trim for takeoff look in the middle yeah i added i added the uh the yoke uh pitch and that's the roll so i added it to this thing so um <laughs> let me tell you if this thing is uh, not pretty much level or uh, neutral when you go to take off. Uh, yeah, you won't make it out the end of the runway. Alrighty. I think we're about ready to go. I'll give it some power. Yeah, so we're gonna fly to uh, Cozumel and uh, Cancun tonight, today. Alrighty. Oh, it is, I, I love it. <laughs> I really love it. I mean, it isn't like, it isn't like what I had was bad. I mean, I had a Fulcrum 1, so, uh, uh, that 
so that there was a that was a nice show but uh, this is like oh yeah this is way nicer all right it's got to roll around here so i can kind of get uh, lined up to, to get on the flight plan here So I'll fly out past the airport, and uh, then I should be uh, should be okay here. Yeah, I thought the uh, um, um, the throw on the uh, um. On my Fulcrum one was nice, but this one's even better, so. I flew this yesterday and uh and I recorded it and uh but but for some reason all I all I got was a black screen, so uh Hopefully everything looks okay. <laughs> uh, All righty. Eight ninety nine plus shipping. Shipping wasn't cheap. It's a big heavy yoke, and uh, so it wasn't it wasn't cheap. <laughs> I forgot my shipping was. Uh, oh boy. I think it was. One hundred and fifty, maybe two hundred, but it come air so. Alrighty, so I got a pretty well lined up here. So let's go autopilot uh, Nav Let the plane fly So when you kick the autopilot on it will uh, It will grab your attention <laughs> The the uh, wherever wherever the yoke's supposed to be it's gonna go there now <laughs> and uh, And that force is about um, about four newtons so uh <laughs> so, so uh if if you're if you got a grab pretty good pretty uh hard uh it will pull it right out of your hand so keep okay let's pull back on the power a little bit here i could kind of hear it uh i hear it go getting too fast so Okay, take a look at everything here. Make sure. Oh, uh, uh, you screwed up a little bit, Bill. Yeah, I forgot to check the fuel. But we'll do it right now. That's where I wanted to see it. Yeah, you can get the yoke uh, shipped to you two ways. One way is by uh, by a ship, and the other is by air. By a ship is months. <laughs> uh, by air was from the time it left Singapore. I think it was about was less than a month. It was about three weeks. So to uh, um. Reduce the the uh, duties. Uh, it, um, it basically gets trucked from Singapore to Hong Kong, and then from Hong Kong it flies from there on. So, uh, so the trip the trip by truck from Singapore to Hong Kong is, uh, I think that was almost a week that uh, that it was being trucked. So, but I think it's to save about oh 150 bucks something like that so 
So, but all in all, uh, yeah, I've been extremely happy. Um, at first, I thought it would weigh more than what my uh, Falcon 1 did. But in reality, they weigh about the same. I mean, could you figure... I have this... Um, this doesn't stay on my desk, so... I have it setting off on the... Basically, I have it on the Falcon 1 box. And that's where it, that's where it rests at. And uh, so when I go to fly... I uh, pull it off the uh, off the box, put it on my desk, clamp it, clamp the front part of it down with two C clamps, and um, then I'm good to go. So, um, uh, but when I pick it up, it's not it's not bad. I thought it was going to be worse than it was, but it's not bad. But it don't move anywhere. The back part isn't clamped at all, and it don't. This thing don't go nowhere. So. So I bought some clamps just uh, just for this purpose. So <laughs> yeah, yesterday it was a lot more uh, overcast, and uh, so it. Uh, it was a little, it was quite a bit more interesting. Clouds don't look too bad today, so. I wasn't sure if I was going to fly today or tomorrow, so. But once I kind of got everything figured out, I had a, I had two different flight plans I was playing with, and uh, uh, when I couldn't get the other airport to work right, I just went, nah, it's okay, I'll, uh, I'll use the same flight plan I flew yesterday, so. Hello? So when I took off, we kind of uh, did a, a bit of a loop-de-loop -loop to get on back on the flight plan. So that's the airport we took off from. <laughs> So kind of the uh, the flight plan is just kind of hugging the uh, hugging the coast here. So we're in uh, way southern Mexico. So uh, we're pretty close to Central America, and uh, so we're way way south. <laughs> so and like I said, we're flying to uh, Cozumel, and that's uh, like an island. And uh, so we're gonna do a touch and go there, and then we're gonna. Uh, the uh, the final uh, final airport's Cancun. So, see if I can get some flight following. Tower Cessna Six Bravo Golf requests flight following. Cessna Six Bravo Golf. Flight following not available. Contact Merida Control on one two five decimal eight for flight following. That com one standby one two five point eight zero zero. Com one standby set to one two five decimal eight. Material Control, Cessna 6 Bravo Golf at 2,000 feet, request flight following. Cessna 6 Bravo Golf, Squawk 10412, and the Yedin. Merida Control, request descent to flight level 150, EZ 72 Alpha Bravo. Cessna 6 Bravo Golf, radar contact, 3 miles northeast of Tulum Naval Air Station at 2,000 feet, Tulum QNH 12011. Okay, QNH looks right, so, 
Enjoy the view. Yeah. Doing pretty good today. Cessna 6 Bravo Golf. Contact Cancun approach on 122 decimal 7. Com one standby one two two point seven zero zero. Com one standby set to one two two decimal seven. Cancun approach Cessna six Bravo Golf at two thousand feet. Cessna 256 Bravo Golf Cancun Approach. Good morning to Lum QNH 1011. Cool. Yeah. 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 Uh, and, uh, and everyone, uh, sooner or later, they're going to ask me, where, what's, where am I going? <laughs> And all I do them is tell them I'm on a sightseeing tour and uh, they go, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, 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 it, it works great. And, uh, you know, so when I get ready for the uh, next airport, you know, I just uh, cancel my flight following and uh, contact the tower. And uh, yeah, works great. I mean, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm quite happy with it, so. It sounds like um, they did a, uh, Brian did a, a thing yesterday. And they, they have a thing now. I don't know if it's fully operational, but but if you're on, um, what is it? If it's on VATSIM or I, 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 ICAO, uh, and like say you, uh, Basically, you, you're out of the range of a controller or the controller goes away. Uh, you put it on the, whatever that common frequency is. And then basically, uh, say intentions will, will recognize that and basically take over ATC for, uh, just take over the ATC for you automatically. It's like, <laughs> that's, that's pretty slick. <laughs> so it doesn't go the other way, but it goes that way. So. They want to do it the other way. Yeah, that that was. I mean, I don't use it, so it wasn't. But uh, as uh, I wasn't as loud, but uh, but I, I could see where that would really, really be nice. So yeah, yep, yeah, yeah uh, whatever that's called. Uh, Vectors the final, I think it's what it's called. So whatever the last one was, it was yesterday. So it'll be on uh, YouTube on his YouTube channel, so. Yeah, I don't use their, uh, their VR, their VR thing. Uh, it doesn't seem to work well for me. So basically, I just use uh, my uh, uh, VR uh, Open VR talk. Oh, uh, not Open VR. <laughs> oh, okay. My uh, VR toolkit, it uh, brings, uh, I just bring the uh, the desktop app, the desktop, uh, say, yes, intentions. 256 Bravo Golf, Cancun approach. I need to amend your flight. Can you tell me your destination? 
Approach Cessna 6 Bravo Golf. I'm on a sightseeing tour. Cessna 6 Bravo Golf, good morning. <laughs> Take it they didn't understand. Hmm. So uh, since we're on uh, like 12.1.2, uh, you get to see the uh, prettier uh, shorelines and uh, and the prettier watercolors. Uh, the watercolors are related, uh, it appears, and I guess that's how it is in real life, is um, the, 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 uh, the overcast skies can have influence on the colors. So, so if, the, if there's a lot of overcast, then the colors are kind of subdued. So at least that's what I've been experiencing, so. Yeah, it took me, uh, this is my second, I did a stream about exactly a week ago, and, uh, ooh, that was a little weird. So it's kind of, must be a shader thing or something like that, kind of like the, uh, scenery kind of flash back and forth, so. But, uh, so when I, uh, um, when I come back from, uh, Flight Sim Expo, uh, I, I think I I think I may have done a stream or two, but not very many. And uh, and then I then I ended up having yeah I did a few. And then uh, and then I had say intentions. And then I got my new yoke. And uh, it kind of <laughs> it kind of took me a little while to kind of get everything uh, everything in a in a place where I was comfortable. I mean, what comfortable enough to stream? So uh, so I was flying, but I wasn't streaming because I just was. Uh, uh, just learning, learning new toys, so. No, okay. I'm a cheater. I have a lot of gadgets in uh, in my cockpit that I wouldn't have in real life. <laughs> uh. There's a ship over there. You can actually see it. Uh, you can see the water. Uh, it's making like a wake. So uh, that's kind of cool. That's new for, uh, I think, one of the RCs. Uh, that's new. So I can bounce out here. Okay. <laughs> May use the excuse I'm just getting old. Trying to enjoy. Uh... 
Okay, we're about 16 miles from uh, uh, Cozumel. It looks like we're gonna pretty much run right over top of this ship, so. Once I get about 10 miles out, I will, uh, I can, I can see the, uh, can see the shoreline. Get about 10 miles out, I will, uh, uh, cancel my, uh, flight following and, uh, contact tower, so. So, let's go find the tower frequency, get it dialed in. Set COM1 standby, 118.000. COM1 standby set to 118 decimal zero. <laughs> Well, so far everything seems to be working okay. It's like a sailboat down there. This one in front of us, he's a big guy. It's pretty cool how you can see the wake from uh, from the ship. It's pretty slick. Okay, let me, uh... Approach Cessna 6 Bravo Golf, please cancel flight following. Cessna 6 Bravo Golf, roger. Radar services terminated, Squawk VFR. Squawk VFR, Cessna 6 Bravo, go. Okay. So, let me, uh... Our Cessna 6 Bravo Golf, stay active runway. Tower Cessna 6 Bravo Golf, inbound to land, runway 30. Cessna 6 Bravo Golf, enter left down 
win for number three zero. Yes. Five seven six runway one two line up and wait. Yes, I do. Runway one two line up and wait. American two five seven six. Okay. American two five seven six wind one four zero at one four. Runway one two cleared for takeoff. American two five seven six is ready for IFR clearance with information tango. American 2576 Cozumel Tower information tango is correct. Clear to Toronto via the GLAD-3 departure, then as filed. Departure runway 30, climb and maintain flight level 370. Departure on 125.8, squawk 2223. Tower Cessna 6 Bravo Golf, request touch and go, runway 30. This night six Bravo Golf, midfield runway three zero.
way, way, way better than many. <laughs> The force feedback is is great, but man, if you're if you're not um, if you don't keep this thing in trim, <laughs> wow. <laughs> but but if it's in trim, oh yeah, it'll it it'll let's come right down. Then I could feel it when uh, I uh, uh, put the power to it. I could feel the yoke. I'm not showing the yoke, but but you should have been able to see it here. I could feel it pushing the yoke back. You know, as I started accelerating, so. Alrighty. Tower Cessna 6 Bravo Golf. Cancel landing intentions. Cessna 6 Bravo Golf, Roger. Radar services terminated. Squawk VFR. Squawk VFR, Cessna 6 Bravo Golf. Oh, there's some sailboats. There's a big ship out there. American 2576 Cozumel Tower taxi to runway 12 via Alpha. Taxi to runway 12 via Alpha. American 2576. American 2576 holding sheriff runway 12, ready for departure. Not quite happy with what it's doing right now, but. I think I should have got away from the shore a little bit. But I kind of was a little uh, confused with uh, the map and uh, where I actually was, so. Yeah, I just wanted to get out outside and kind of see the ship. That's pretty cool. 
You got a little sailboat there and great big duck. Great big ship. It's really neat. You can see the uh, behind it, you know, where it's riled up the water. I got another one over here. Cool. Oop, a little bit off. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Yeah, we got a few more waypoints and uh then we'll be landing at uh Cancun. Yeah, let's see, okay, as long as I'm on course, I'm gonna jump out for a minute. Okay, graphics. I always like to do this at least once during a stream so you can kind of see uh, what I'm running. So, uh, so we got all these sliders, yeah, but basically all of them are run up to the top. And uh, this one here I have at none. Uh, what I did is I put this one down to none and then I increased my super sampling. And uh, so clouds and max. I have aircraft only for shadows. Rendering on high, max world distance, vegetation in the middle. I have that on. I, I'm not using the zinc plugin. I have an, a NVIDIA card. And um, I think every once in a while it, uh, it doesn't play nice, I think. Just my uh, ups. Uh, and uh, we're running real weather, real time. So we're running... Um, so basically my this headset is uh 20 let me think 24 60 24 25 60 by square and uh so i'm uh super sampling it a bit uh so i'm about 3000 by 3000 so so i have uh i have steam set at 100 percent and then i have uh explain uh the per application set at 70. So, uh, uh, so we're using, uh, about half of my VRAM, thereabouts, and, uh, yeah, a little more than half, and less than half on my RAM, so, uh, all in all, pretty happy, pretty happy. Uh, I seemingly, uh, can make x -Plane run better than other people can, I do not know why. Um, but I am one of the uh, few that are running a big screen beyond. I think there's about three or four of us now, so I'm uh, not very many. And uh, so, because I'm running a big screen beyond, I use Steam VR. I don't have to use any other. American one four five one, um, welcome to Cozumel. Taxi to parking at your discretion and monitor this frequency. Any other programs to uh, make it happen? And uh, so, um, whether that has influence or not, I'm not sure. So, I just know what uh, what I see. So, oh, well, one other thing. Uh, yeah, I wish they'd fix this. So, uh, it's hard to see. But uh, use open uh, XR runtime. Uh, that that's checked. So I almost forgot about that. That's a that's a thing. Because I actually know of somebody that has. What does he have? For sure, I know he has an index and a beyond. And he actually likes the index better. So I'm not so sure why. Uh, I, uh, I hear about glare in the beyond. And somebody that is complaining about it will have to let me know where to look. 
because I I'm not sure where to look. I assume they're talking about like the uh the G one thousands. I assume that's where they're getting the glare at. Uh I don't tend to fly at night. Maybe if I did it would matter. Uh but but I only fly anymore at G one thousands and I don't if there's glare, it certainly is an effect in me reading, like say, I can see over there, that's like 20, that's 20, uh, 24 uh, ETA, 24 seconds. And uh, till the end of this uh, leg. So, uh, and I didn't lean in, I just turned my head to look at it. So, um, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, I'm at a loss to understand um, what they're saying but I, all i do know is the colors are really sharp they really pop and uh and it's clear i mean so i mean <laughs> uh with my vive pro 2 there's no way i would fly a g1000 for any length of time because it just was not sharp enough for me so um but this is plenty sharp so <laughs> all righty I think we got one more waypoint. Yep. After waypoint five, then we are, we're going to uh, Cancun. And I'm also one of the few people that run, uh, that fly with, uh, with VR controllers. I mean, a lot of people use, uh, use a mouse. And, uh, I, uh, um, because I have valve index controllers, they're just on my hands. Uh, and you can see from that landing, uh, there was no problem with me, uh, having that airplane under control. I mean, and, uh, so, so as long as, uh, I, I found it, um, when I first got this yoke, it was, it was a little bit of a challenge because, uh, there is at times, uh, more, um, more force on the yoke. And, uh, so I had to learn, you know, kind of like, okay, well. If there's force on the yoke, then you, you know what the problem is. You need to fix it, so. Right, correct, correct. Same way, same way. Yeah, so I, I have uh, uh, physical yoke and pedals. But for all other cockpit interaction, it's VR controllers, so. And, uh, you know, whether it's a throttle, trim wheel, flaps, you know. And, it, and it's how... It allows me to have a very, very small footprint uh, in the house. So, uh, and that, that works for me. So, doesn't work for everybody and that's fine. So, we're all unique in our, uh, in our endeavors, so. And, and the, uh, since since I do use VR controllers, the uh, um, the vast difference between X Plane and Microsoft Play Simulator is it's vast. I mean, um, just trying to explain simple things. So. So when I come in here and I bring the controller close to the close to the mixture, I can feel it. I see it. I see it turn green. But if I didn't see it turn green, I can actually feel it. I can feel it in the controller. Throttle same way. The uh, trim wheel or the uh, flaps, the trim wheel. I can feel it. That is not true in Microsoft Flight Simulator. At least not with my controllers. 
and uh, same way with like all of these everything in the same way as when you go to adjust things you can you can feel it and you can hear it. you can hear it when you're like adjusting the uh, uh, um, any knobs or any switches same way you come up to the switch you can feel it when you come up and uh, and it seems intuitive I mean if I pull the trigger up and I pull up like that just like I would with my so I look at it as my VR controllers are my hands in this virtual cockpit. That's how I look at it. So how would I, how would I operate this uh, switch with my hands? Yeah, at first I would touch it, so I've touched it, and then I'd flip it up. I do the same thing with my controller. You flip it up, and um, so to me it's intuitive, you know. Uh, but man, it is. It's way so different in Microsoft Flight Simulator, so. I'm kind of, kind of hoping that they, uh, they spend some time on that with, uh, with their new uh, 2024. But uh, time will tell. So, because I've talked to uh, to Jorg from uh, the head of Microsoft Flight Simulator, I've talked to him twice at two different uh, flight sim expos and uh, explaining exactly this problem and. Uh, he led me to believe that it should that there's no reason it shouldn't be fixed in 2020. Well, <laughs> I just I just did a flight in 2020, uh, a day or two ago, and uh, all I wanted to do is and I'm flying with this yoke. All I wanted to do is just trim, just trim trim down, just make the nose up a little bit, just run the trim wheel down just a little bit. All of a sudden, it was the the the. Uh, the trim indicator was clear at the bottom. <laughs> Let me tell you, with this yoke, oh, wow. <laughs> uh, that had my attention. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like headed. <laughs> I was like headed for the ground. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> you know, it took me a while to kind of uh, get it, uh, grab a hold of the yoke, pull back on it, try to, try to get it to uh, uh, get back under control. Got it. And, uh, they got the trim more neutral and uh then then i was then i was fine you know but but it, it was like it was um i mean there's no way that i could ever like make it move a whole bunch i mean it's just not gonna do that so so i was kind of like what the heck so so i put it on the shelf again for a while hopefully like i said uh, 2024 will be better but Time will tell. <laughs> but I did meet somebody at uh, Flight Sim Expo. Actually, I met him before I went there, but but I met him in person there. And uh, his handle on YouTube is uh, the VR Pilot. And uh, he had the opportunity to. Um, uh, be flown out to uh, the Grand Canyon uh, and do uh, and and test out the um, 2024. Uh, so uh, so I made a connection with him. So he uh, and he also flies X plane. So uh, uh, so when uh, he finally has a copy at home, you know I want to get with him and uh, and he seems like he has a connection to the team. So with that connection, that should be should be able to uh, kind of through him uh, try to uh, get this um, uh, make sure that, that that's resolved for 2024 okay uh, looks like we're on our way to Cancun so let me Cancun Yeah, one one eight one zero. Set com one standby one one eight point one zero zero. Com one standby set to one one eight decimal one. Yeah, what do we 
got for runways? Hmm. Let's see what they give me. Alrighty, we're about 10 miles out. Let me, uh... Cancun Tower, Cessna 6 Bravo Golf at 2,000 feet. Inbound to land. Cessna 256 Bravo Golf, Cancun Tower, turn left downwind for runway 12 left, wind scarf. 0657 Cancun Tower, unable to provide radar services for flight following. Contact Meredith Center on 125.8 for flight following. Over to 125.8, Cirrus 657. Tower Cessna 6 Bravo Go, left downwind, runway 12 left. Cessna 6 Bravo Go. Runway 1 to right, line up and wait. Southwest 1134 Cancun Tower winds 130 at 26. Runway 1 to right, clear to land. 1 to right, clear to land, Southwest 134 taxi to parking via Charlie remain this frequency. up i'm looking at the chart right uh, i think it's the far one but yeah it looks that way the uh jet blue four nine five taxi that's to parking via charlie that. remain this frequency so probably i'll let it descend a little bit here I'm four miles away and uh 2,000 feet and it's only uh, well we can see water so uh, <laughs> yeah, 1,000 feet probably the pattern so alrighty we'll see how we do Contact ground on one two one decimal zero. Parking via Charlie remain with you, one one three four. Cancun Tower, American twenty four ninety two, ten mile final for American 2492, Cancun Tower, winds 172 at 15. Runway 12 right, clear to land. Winds 100 at 12. Runway 12 right, cleared for takeoff. Cleared for takeoff, Aerobus 
contact departure at Airbus 2042. Have a good day. Clear to land, runway 12 right, American 2492. American 2492, welcome to Cancun. Contact ground on 130 decimal 5. Sierra Bravo Whiskey 5420, welcome to Cancun. Contact ground on 130 decimal 5. Ground on 130 decimal 5. Sierra Bravo Whiskey 5420, thank you so much. Good day. <laughs> Inbound CI one two left easy seven two Alpha Bravo. Easy seven two Alpha Bravo, Cancun Tower, winds one three zero at one eight, runway one two left, clear to land. Cancun Tower, zero three eight six five seven, holding short, runway three zero. Tower Cessna 6 Bravo Golf, downwind runway 1 2 left. Tower Cessna 6 Bravo Golf on base, runway 12 left. 488, Cancun Tower, winds 080 at 4. Runway 12 right, clear to land. Cessna 6 Bravo Golf, runway 12 left, which call, clear to land. American 1910 winds 150 at 15, runway 12 left, cleared for takeoff. Fly runway heading. We hear you. Clear to take off, one full left, fly one way heading, American 1910. JetBlue 420, Cancun Tower, winds 152 at 18, runway 12 right, clear to land. Contact Cancun departure on 124.2. Mm. Buenas noches. Hello, Tower Aerobus 2042, holding short of runway 12 right, ready for departure.
Delta Boeing 787 Cancun Tower, winds calm. Runway 30 left, cleared to land. Winds calm, clear to land, 30 left, 5128. Delta 5128, welcome to Cancun. Contact ground on 130 decimal 5. JetBlue 420, welcome to Cancun. Contact ground on 130 decimal 5. Auto Chara, contact ground 130 decimal 5 for JetBlue 420. Tower Cessna 6, Bravo Golf, clear back to runway 12. Cancun Tower, uh, good afternoon, uh, Sierra Tower Whiskey 5420 is on uh, localizer for runway 12 left. Click com one standby one three zero point five zero zero. Cancun Tower winds one four zero at one niner. Runway one two left, clear to land. JetBlue one four contact departure on one two zero decimal four. It's not six Bravo Gold negative. Taxi to General Aviation Parking. E Alpha three Alpha Delta Bravo. Have a good day. Taxi to General Aviation Parking Alpha three Alpha. Alpha, Delta, Bravo, have a good day. Okay. Remember this. There's, there's a building. There's a building on the taxiway here. <laughs> Hilarious. Travel 346, understood. Emergency services have been advised and are responding urgently. Stand by for assistance. World Travel 346, understood. We will take care of it. Emergency services are on their way to assist you immediately. Stand by. needed to be on the grass so I didn't hit the wing on the building. <laughs> uh. There's like not a lot of taxiways here. <laughs> Or probably the ones I could have used. I was already, I landed long enough that I wasn't going to have them, so. Okay. Park it right around here someplace. No, oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, that's right. Now I remember. Did I go the wrong way? Yeah, I did. Oh, well. I'm going to come up here and park. <laughs> General aviation parking the other way, but I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to go over here. 
I parked my airplane. Okay. Put that on. Good enough. Yeah. So, general aviation parking's over here. <laughs> I'm I'm over here. <laughs> so, oh well, that's my Brady. Okay. Uh, let me uh, hit the plane shut down here. American 1778 Cancun Tower, two miles from UN 540. Turn right, heading 175 until established. Cleared for the okay. RNAV runway, one two right approach. Uh, that all went quite well. Uh, Turn right, Turn right, 175 until established. Clear for the hour of one two as a foot. American 1778. Thanks everybody for uh, stopping, stopping by. American 1778 wins 160 and, uh, at 18. Runway one two we'll, right, clear uh, to land. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, uh, so I'll probably, I'll take off from Cancun. I can't remember, I don't remember right now where the runways are, or the airports, next airports are, but, uh, uh whether I, whether I do it tomorrow or the next day, not quite sure yet, but, uh, we'll, uh, We'll go ahead Jet and uh, wins we'll see. At one so, five. Uh, Runway one two right, clear to land. Runway one two right, clear to land. Try to figure out a way to. Oh, American nineteen ten. Runway one two left, ready for departure. That should work. I changed the frequency. I was. <laughs> I don't want to constantly listen to that and have to talk over it, so I put on CTAF frequency, so so that'll work. And uh, so, yeah, I've been uh, yeah I've been really happy with say intentions. It, it 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 works exactly how I was hoping it would. So uh, I'm still on the monthly plan. I'll uh, I need to uh, I need to get in contact with them and uh, go ahead and uh, get on like a yearly plan. So uh, alrighty, uh, if you. Uh, if you enjoyed this content, uh, please click on the follow button. And uh, we uh, only fly in VR. And uh, for the foreseeable future, uh, I'm flying in Mexico. So uh, I'm using the uh, Total Mexico package. And uh, uh, generally, we'll always be using live weather unless it gets really, really, really bad. But uh, so far, it's all worked out pretty good. So, alrighty, Guys, all have a great day. Uh, thanks for everybody who stopped by. Much, much, much appreciated. Have a great day.